What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a new laser just sent out for review. I've been taking a little break from laser engraving lately and getting right into the world of 3D printing. This has been a whole new learning experience coming from laser engraving. Some things are the same, some things are way, way different. So this is the Bamboo Labs A1 with the AMS light. This is like a multicolor auto feed system for the printer. So you can print up to four different colors in the same print without manually changing your filament. If you guys are curious about 3D printing or want to learn more about the transition from laser engraving to 3D printing, definitely let me know and I can do a video on that in the future. But for today's video, we're taking a look at the Acmer S1 laser engraver. This is a small six watt uh, portable laser engraver, really beginner friendly. If you are just getting into laser engraving, you're not sure quite where to start. This is going to be a decent option for you. Really, really easy to set up. I would say maybe even easier than the longer Nano, which was, I thought, one of the easiest lasers to set up. But uh, we'll get right into this, unbox it, and show you what you get. So out of the box, this is what you're going to find. The laser is almost 100% assembled. It's a nice portable, uh, like I said, a little small laser, six watts. Here's the laser head here. This is actually the only thing you have to assemble with this whole package. So all you do is take the laser, slide it into the slot, tighten up this thumb screw, and plug it in and you're pretty much home free. That's the only setup you have to do. You have a couple cords here, a USB to USB-C, a power adapter. In the box, you get a set of glasses, a nice little starter kit with some materials, your manual, and uh, a little basic toolkit to get you set up. So very easy to get started. I'm gonna put the laser together, hook it up to the computer and show you the light burn setup and then we'll get started. Okay, so our laser is all set up. We've got our cords plugged in, our laser is connected and attached, and all we have to do is come over here in Lightburn. You're gonna go down to Devices, go to GBRL. It will pop up with a 130 by 130 Acmer laser. You're gonna select it, and away you go. I've already got it selected right here. I'm gonna switch us to the correct communication port and the laser should fire up. Now, as you can see, it does auto home and it has limit switches, which is a nice feature for a small, low budget laser like this. You don't see uh, built in limits too often, like on the Ray 5, um, other lasers like that. It is an additional upgrade, but uh, to have them already pre installed is very nice. They can be a little bit challenging for beginners, so that's a really nice feature to see. So just like any other laser, it does have a small uh, set tool here. This is what they give you to set the height of the laser. You are going to put this pretty close to the work surface. So you're going to set this down here on whatever you're trying to engrave, adjust your height. That's going to sit right down on the little block. And then you can go ahead and pull that out and you're ready to get started. Now they do give you some settings over here in the manual, which is nice. We'll go through a couple of these and test them out just to see how well they work. Uh, the max engraving speed on this is 10,000 millimeters per minute. So I've got that set up over here. I'm just going to run a quick speed test for you so you can see approximately what that looks like. So there's our max speed, 10,000 millimeters per minute. Not a racehorse by any means, but certainly fast enough to get the job done. Even on my bigger lasers, I don't go too much faster than that, really. Um, so we're going to get started on a settings test. This is the given settings. We're going to go with a number two plywood, 50% power at 6,000 millimeters per minute, and just see how it engraves with the factory settings. So I've just got the channel name. I've got the settings at 6,000 and 50%. I'm going to go ahead and frame it. And we will hit start. I'm just going to do a line engraving and after that we'll fill it in. And there we go. Definitely not bad, just a factory out of the box setting. Looks pretty good. Obviously we're not gonna go through very far at those power levels, but uh, that turned out just fine. Okay, we're gonna change that to a fill next. I do have the smoke pipe over here to uh, do a little bit more engraving. We'll get the smoke out of here and see how this one turns out. Now 
Okay, and there we have a quick engraving, pretty good for factory default settings. A little bit high on power, we didn't need to go quite that deep. We got a little bit of charring here. The P1 does not come with an air assist kit. You can get one for it, and obviously that would help with charring here, or you could just turn down your power a little bit on stuff like this. So I'm gonna put this back in. We're gonna go ahead and try to cut it. Should have no problem cutting a three millimeter piece of basswood with a six watt laser. Should definitely be able to do the job. I've got the honeycomb under here just so we don't burn the table too much. and. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get these settings dialed in for cutting. Okay, so here in the book under number four, we have two millimeter plywood. They recommend 100% power at 150 millimeters per minute. So moving pretty slow. I have some three mil wood, so we're going to drop the speed down to 125, leaving it at 100% power. We will see if that's going to cut all the way through in one pass. It might be a little thick, but we'll go ahead and get started. Here are my settings, 125 at 100. Let's see what it can do. And there we have it. it actually did cut most of the way through in a single pass on all of these letters yeah i would say that's all the way through not too bad for charring again air assist would help with that the back side looks okay because of the honeycomb the front side could use a little help from an air assist but that's certainly something you can add down the road so yeah for a six watt laser on three mil basswood that's not too bad now as far as settings go, you have a pretty good list of stuff you can engrave here. Anything like glass or stainless, a lot of times you need to add like an engraving spray or a blackening spray. And on the Amazon page, it actually claims you can engrave stone. So I have a small pebble here. We're gonna give that a try. It's not listed in the materials list in the book, but it does claim it's possible on the Amazon page. So I'm just gonna put a quick engraving on that. We're gonna use the same settings I used to cut the wood to try to engrave uh, just a quick letter on this and then we'll fill it in after that. So I've just got the letter A and I've got it set up for 125 at 100. I'm going to come over here and hit start. And there we go, we actually had a pretty good looking letter A engraved in that stone. So I am gonna come over here, we'll change the settings to a fill and we'll see how well it can fill in that A. So I will leave it at 100 and for speed, we will probably go 650 and we'll try that. And there we go. After just a few minutes, we have an engraved A in this little pebble. I probably could have turned the power down a little bit. It almost looks just a hair burnt, but it does engrave stone if you were curious. Now, as far as safety features go, there's not really anything listed in the manual. On the longer Ray 5, they do have a tilt sensor, uh, which kind of doubles as a bump sensor. If you hit the laser while it's operating, it will throw an error code and stop engraving, as well as a flame sensor. If the workpiece catches on fire, the laser will shut down. So uh, if I take the laser and tip it up here, you can see we are not interrupted. It will continue with the laser uh, lifted up like that. So you do have to be careful. It doesn't go ahead and fall off your table or anything like that. And then if we take a lighter, we can stick this flame down here. There is no optical flame sensor to shut down the laser. So no safety settings. Again, it is a smaller uh, budget laser. It's, uh, it's kind of expected it doesn't have that, but you do have to use some caution. So overall, with what I've done with the Acmer P1, I'm pretty satisfied. This is a very, very beginner-friendly laser. If you're not quite sure where you want to start or you're a little bit intimidated by some of the setup of the gantry and all the, uh, the finer stuff of larger lasers, this is not a bad option for you. Like I said, pretty much 100% assembled out of the box and it works well so far. Um, if you were someone like a maybe a woodworker, maybe laser engraving is not your main thing, but you want to put your logo on some of your, your woodworking, this would be a good option. Uh, if you're looking to maybe do larger projects or signs, this is probably not the laser for you with the limited size. But uh, overall, like I said, if you're looking to get started, this is a pretty good laser for you. As far as pricing goes, it's a little bit all over the map. I found it for $300, $200, $183, 148 on AliExpress. So um, that's Canadian dollars, by the way. You can definitely find it cheaper if you are in the US. But take a look around as far as pricing. It's on sale on Amazon right now. So uh, see what makes the most sense for you and 
check it out. Uh, if you like the laser, I'll put a link to it down below. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you next time.